C.S. Lewis books, The Chronicles of Narnia, they are the origins of a lot of fantasy. Between Tolkien and C.S. Lewis, they were sort of the forefathers of fantasy. C.S. Lewis was a good friend of Tolkien, and you can imagine they discussed at great lengths the two worlds that they were exploring. The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe, it takes us into realms that we can only imagine. The challenge as a filmmaker is to live up to and exceed people's imaginations and really transport them to another time and another place. During World War II, the children are shipped off to the country. Mrs. McCready, I'm afraid so. And they go to stay in this household of uh, this professor. There will be no shouting or running, no sliding on the banisters, no touching of the historical artifacts. And above all, there shall be no disturbing of the professor. 98. The children are having a game of hide and seek. 100. Ready or not, here I come. Lucy finds her way into this empty room in which stands this magnificent wardrobe. She goes to hide in it, and eventually she steps out into this wintry wonderland. She encounters this fawn, Mr. Tumnus, who takes her to tea, and then starts to uncover that there's more to this magical world than she realizes there are evils at play. Eventually, all four kids walk into this magic world called Narnia, Impossible! The whole world has been frozen for a hundred years. There's a prophecy that four kings and queens will sit in the thrones of Kea Paravel, and these will be sons of Adam and daughters of Eve. They are meant to fulfill this prophecy. The White Witch wants to stop the fulfillment of that prophecy because that will be the end of her reign. They meet a whole host of characters and creatures a perilous journey and they meet this lion who is the leader of everything that is good. Aslan is the original highest king of Narnia and was actually the one responsible for creating the world of Narnia. He's been gone for a long time but he's come back because he knows that the prophecy is about to be fulfilled. He and the children together can ultimately get rid of the evil in the land. 